Honey isn't just a sweet treat, it's a global obsession. Today, before the end of breakfast, you will help change the world. For every time you eat rouse honey, you support the beekeepers and their bees. You help make this nature and this nature. Every year, over 450 million pounds of honey are consumed in the U.S. alone, with the global market reaching a staggering 9.3 billion. That's a lot of golden goodness. But how does this natural nectar make its way from busy bee colonies to factory production lines and finally into the jars on our shelves? Well, it's a fascinating process that we'll uncover here at The Process World. Without further ado, let's break it all down. A beehive runs like a well-organized factory, with every bee playing a role. The queen bee lays eggs, the worker bees handle everything from cleaning to honey making, and the drones exist just to mate. The real magic happens when the worker bees head out to collect nectar from flowers, using their long tongues to extract the sweet liquid while also spreading pollen that helps plants grow. Once they find a good nectar source, they return to the hive and perform a waggle dance, a movement that tells the others exactly where to go. This teamwork keeps the hive thriving and sets the stage for the next big step, turning nectar into honey. Bringing nectar to the hive is just the beginning. The real magic happens inside, where worker bees take on the next stage of honey production. Once a bee returns with nectar, it passes it to another worker through regurgitation. Yes, they spit it into each other's mouths. This might sound odd, but it's a key step. As the nectar moves between bees, special enzymes break down complex sugars, making it easier to digest and store. The nectar is then placed inside the honeycomb cells, but at this stage it's still too watery. Bees fan their wings non-stop, creating airflow that evaporates moisture, thickening the nectar into honey. Once the moisture level drops to about 18%, the honey reaches its perfect consistency. To keep it safe, bees seal the honeycombs with a layer of wax, locking in the freshness for when the colony needs it. This method has kept bees thriving for millions of years, ensuring that they always have food, even when flowers aren't blooming. But before the honey makes it to store shelves, it has to be carefully collected. That's where beekeepers come in, stepping into the hive to harvest the liquid gold without disturbing the delicate balance of the colony. You see, harvesting honey isn't just about collecting what's inside the hive. It's about doing it carefully, ensuring that the bees stay safe while keeping the honey as pure as possible. Before getting started, beekeepers put on protective gear, covering themselves from head to toe in suits, gloves, and mesh veils. Even the calmest hive can get defensive when their home is disturbed. To keep things under control, they use a smoker, which releases cool, harmless smoke that calms the bees and encourages them to move away from the honeycombs. Once the hive is settled, the beekeeper removes the honey-filled frames, making sure that no bees are trapped inside. These frames, packed with golden honey and sealed with beeswax, are then carefully placed in containers and transported to the processing factory. At this stage, the honey is still raw, straight from the hive. The next steps is where the real transformation happens. The goal in the factory is to extract the honey, remove any unwanted bits, and package it while keeping its natural quality intact. Every step is designed to ensure that the honey stays fresh, clean, and ready for consumption. Inside the factory, the first task is to remove the protective beeswax layer that seals the honey inside the comb. This process, called uncapping, is done using special machines with heated blades and rollers that gently slice off the wax without damaging the honeycomb structure. 
The removed wax isn't wasted. It gets collected and later used for products like candles, lip balms, and other skincare products. With the honeycomb now open, the frames go into a centrifuge, a machine that spins at a high speed. As the frames spin, the honey is pulled out of the comb by centrifugal force and starts to flow out. This method ensures that every drop of honey is extracted efficiently while keeping the honeycomb intact, allowing beekeepers to reuse the frames in the hive. Once the honey is out of the comb, it passes through a filtration system to remove any bits of wax, pollen, or other particles. Factories use fine mesh filters that catch even the smallest impurities, leaving behind pure liquid honey. This step is essential because it ensures a smooth, clean texture while preserving the honey's natural goodness. At this stage, the honey is still thick and can contain air bubbles or tiny crystals that affect its flow. To make it easier to handle, the honey is gently heated to a moderate temperature, just enough to thin it out without destroying its nutrients and enzymes. This also helps slow down the crystallization, keeping the honey smooth for a longer time. Once heated, the honey is quickly cooled to stop any further changes in its texture. Rapid cooling prevents unwanted fermentation and maintains its natural color and flavor. After this, the honey is stored in large stainless steel tanks ready for packaging. This part of the journey ensures that the honey stays fresh, safe, and easy to use. The process starts with automated filling machines which carefully pump the honey into jars, bottles, and even large industrial containers. Everything is measured precisely to avoid spillage and to make sure that each container gets the perfect amount. Right after filling, the containers move down the production line to be sealed. This step is crucial because an airtight seal keeps moisture and air out, preventing any unwanted changes in texture or taste. Some brands also add temper-proof seals for extra security, guaranteeing that the honey stays pure from the factory to the shelf. Next comes labeling, where each jar gets its identity. The label doesn't just make the product look good, it tells the full story. From the floral source and origin to certifications like organic or raw, every detail helps customers know exactly what they're getting. Once labeled, the honey is packed into boxes and stored in climate-controlled areas to maintain its smooth consistency. Finally, it's ready for distribution. Whether it ends up in grocery stores, farmers markets, or online shops, every jar carries the effort of both nature and humans working together. And that's it! From the tireless work of bees to the precision of modern factories, every drop of honey goes through an incredible journey before it reaches a jar. But here's something to think about. If honey never spoils, could the honey found in ancient tombs still be safe to eat today? Let us know your views in the comments section below.